where my fire start is at. Y'all know the flame. Y'all know the drill, man. Stomp, step, and stand on that notification bell. Stomp, step, and stand on that like button. Y'all already know what to do with the subscribe. All right? Now, <clears throat> it's some crazy, crazy stuff going on in Toronto, Fire Flame family. All right? Now, why is it? For the second, third time this week, this same dude right here has been locked up for trespassing slash breaking into his house. I don't know what you call it, but this happened right here today. Today is the 12th of May. It's Sunday, y'all. This person just got locked up three days ago for the same shit. Check this out. Well, a man has been arrested for the second time at Drake's Bridal Path Mansion. Footage sent to CP24 by a viewer shows three security guards standing over a man on the property on Park Lane Circle. Police say they were called around 1.30 yesterday afternoon for reports of someone trespassing. The man taken into custody was already arrested on the property earlier this week. This is now the third incident at the property since a shooting on Tuesday morning left a security guard critically injured at Drake's mansion. No arrests have been made in that case. Well, a man has been arrested. The third time this week. I told y'all the third time this week. Now, how is it possible that three times in one week, the same individual has been locked up and arrested? Keep coming back. Keep coming back. It says a man was arrested for attempting to break into Drake's $100 million mansion. You see this? A day after his security guard was shot multiple times. Toronto police confirmed the arrest and stated that the person was apprehended under the Mental Health Act. Peep game under the Mental Health Act. If he was apprehended under the Mental Health Act, what is he still doing out the next day? How is he able to pull off the same particular crime three times in one week at the same particular place where all this security is supposed to be at? Something not sounding right, y'all. Just not sounding right. Okay? Just not sounding right. Okay, also, this is not sounding right. Police will also have access to a key witness account as the victim is expected to survive. Yeah, the victim, the one who got shot. Don't forget about that. <laughs> That's the reason why we all here in the first place. It's because of the person who got shot. They got access to the person that was shot. And like I said, y'all, I've been hearing out of Toronto that the person that got shot is Baca. Drake's bodyguard slash artist. Okay, I hope this is not the case, but allegedly it's him. Okay, and police have access to him. Police have access to him, and it looks like they're going to talk. It looks like they are going to talk because it says police will also have access to a key witness account as the victim is expected to survive. Okay, and the alleged victim is Baca. Okay, I've been trying to tell everybody earlier this week. I was the first one who broke this shit down. Okay. That when Kendrick was saying all that shit, and everybody else was coming out, giving their opinions on Drake. The only one from OVO that actually said some shit 
that stood on some business was Baca. He said, nigga, I clap that shit. He said, I clap that shit. Y'all niggas know I clap that shit. Okay, and just a few days later, he wound up getting clapped. Now, I told y'all that allegedly Drake wasn't at the mansion. But who was at the mansion? Only time to tell. Only time to tell. Because even the police say they are going to have to interview the people who are closest to Drake. (laughs) Who manage his social media and other business activities that he's involved in. See? See? And not only are we going to find out who was involved, how were they involved, okay? So are them cameras. Yeah. Hundreds of cameras, y'all. Hundreds. Okay? Hundreds of security cameras out here They're claiming that the footage is the what? Key piece of evidence to identify the suspect responsible for the shooting. You see it, right? Footage from dozens of security cameras. Well, if that's the key piece of evidence, why the fuck haven't the public seen it yet? So the public can help identify this so-called suspect and this so-called getaway car okay but the only thing that we've been hearing about is the same old person getting locked up in front of this mansion you see this is how they acting like they're doing their job fire flamers hit the like button <laughs> this is how they act like they doing their job act like they doing something out there they ain't doing shit okay this man has been arrested three times y'all the same individual the same individual has been arrested three times this week. Okay, and he's trying to break into Drake's house, his mansion, at a time like this when the stakes are high and motherfuckers getting shot and shit. It's supposed to be a real live rat beef, rat war going on, people getting hurt, right? But y'all let a person that's mentally unstable, mentally ill, actually keep coming out to violate this situation? Why would y'all even take a risk of a person with a mental illness? Why will the city of Toronto even take the risk of letting this so-called, okay, mental health patient out at a crazy time because in any other of these cases y'all in any case like this related to this anything like that the first thing they do is blaming something on somebody's mental health with something pop off right okay all these fucking weird shootings, all these killings, all these serial killers that we be having out here. First thing they do is blame it on their mental health, right? Okay, so what if this person is really, really a threat to the community and to the society and to Drake's house and the people that's involved, okay? Right. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. As we possibly have a what? Suspect. Not going to say that. That's what y'all are saying. But we possibly have. Well, it's not even possibly. Let's strike that out. It looks like we have. A mental health crisis calling out for help before things get to another level. 
But things get to another level. If he came on this property three different times for the same thing, and y'all said he has a mental illness, why haven't anyone took action? Why haven't anyone got this man some real help? Exactly. Exactly. Views from the six, huh? huh? The only view the police want to know, okay, is what the fuck happened that night, allegedly. Okay. You can't escape the possibility this is just somebody who is random, who does not like Drake, but likes Kendrick Lamar and felt that people were being disrespected and decided to take this into their own hands. You see that? This is what the police are saying. Huh? The police are saying Kendrick Lamar and his fan base and his following is behind this. You see this shit, y'all? You see this? So if they're going to go over everybody's, what they say, everybody's Instagram, everybody's social media, okay, they're going to have Drake, they're going to have access to Drake's social media, and everybody that's around them, see that? That means they're going to see this nigga on there saying what? Yeah, I clap some shit. I clap some shit, right? And then all of a sudden he gets clapped, right? Right? And they're waiting for him to get better, to talk, you see? Let me know what y'all think, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Share, subscribe, always remember. Huh. Fear the fire and fear the motherfucking flames. Let's go, y'all.